Hey you folks, Quillikeen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Bulgaria. Now, at the end of the last episode, I was just tweaking our factories here, and I was like, hold on, why are we giving so much consumer goods? Have we not switched our military laws yet? And I was like, no, I was waiting for a policy. But no, I'm, I'm mistaken. We have... <sighs> I had it in my head that we wanted to wait for a freebie um, change in our economic laws. That's why I haven't changed our, our economic laws, but I'm wrong. All, all the economic laws are only available if we go to the fascist side. We got the freebie conscription law changes, but we desperately need to change our economic laws. And the only reason I didn't is because I got, I got confused. I confused myself thinking that I had to wait for a freebie change first just to be as efficient as possible. Um, so that was, that was me having the dumb, and I'm very sorry about that. And that is actually dramatically hurting our production right now, which ain't good. I mean, you know what? We're, we're getting other things that are very handy. You're going to... Okay, we've got five convoys exactly. And we can get more minerals in the Rodopdupts, although that's going to take political power, which means I am no longer... Um, uh, I am no longer... You know, can be further away to changing economic laws. Research finished over here. Um, so, air land battle. Army heart attack, tanks and armor. There you go, infantry and artillery, yes. Yeah, 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 that, okay. Right hand side is definitely the side that we're going in for everything we're building up over here, 100%. Pakistan, Bangladesh, sign a white peace. Our planes are ready to go at some point. Um. Let's actually, let's go back to exercising you, since we're full of fuel right now. We might use up a little bit, but that's going to be okay. Some recruitments are possible, but we're not going to worry about it. Unfulfilled. So we're missing one thing from Turkey. That's going to have to be okay. Fighter tech has come in, which is fine-ish. Working on that. Uh, we're nearly on 41, so I'm going to... Do this. Um, what I might do, even though I do want the um, uh, I do want the uranium mining, I might just not do a national focus for a bit, so that we can save our political power, so that we can change our economy laws a little bit faster. It's not something I normally like to do. So maybe it is free. And that's different. Okay, we got 33. No, it is free. Okay, good. And yeah, I'm happy with not running a policy. I mean, it's going to bank 10 days worth of stuff. So it's going to just... Uh, I guess it maybe it doesn't bank it. Maybe it just will instantly use it if we pick a focus, which is kind of okay. Um, excavation 1 is done. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get the next one because it's barely ahead of time. So we're not really spending too much there. And the industrial boost will be handy. We're up to 22 divisions in the field. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Now that's going to be good, because if the Axis and the Allies go to war, the Allies such as they are, that's going to be really, really good for us. Um, I think I'm going to keep working on this stuff. More mineral extraction. Uh, let me wait on that a little bit. I do want to run that, but we need to change our economic laws first. Okay, we have deciphered Turkey. Uh, Romania is going to be right behind it, I think. We have no reason to hit go on those at this time. Um, oh, we don't have any research happening. Do, 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 do. I, I, um, I don't think that's the thing. Like, really what we want to do is just expand on what we already have. You know, I'm going to prep for the anti-tank stuff. I mean, we're going to be finding Germany over here. We're going to need some anti-tank. We actually might go with line anti-tank. It's that serious. Uh, oh, agent was captured. Kim Philby. Let's see what we can do. Uh, fighter, we're going to go and just bring you up to the next level. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I was nearly done that one, but that's okay. Uh, oh, that is complete, which is nice. Rescue captured operative. We're going to run you. And... Um, yeah, I don't know if any of these matter. Uh, Romania, so we can send the Romanian. That is routine. Prepare and go is going to be fine. 
Okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna get this pretty quick. We're gonna have to do a few. Now, I don't remember this one here. Yeah, it's a flat cost, so we can just go to the best one that we can, we have access to, and that's gonna be great. So once I realized I had to do this, it's gonna go pretty fast, but we could have done it a while ago, and it is really unfortunate that uh, I missed the fact that I'm not actually waiting for anything. Okay, you're fully trained. Good, good, good. We do have the points to start making some alterations. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is I do want the Mountaineers in here. Is we are going to add as many of these as it will kind of allow me. Without complaining that we're extending our, our special forces. Um, we're going to go this far because what we'll do is we're going to add two artillery to this later. We don't have the points for everything right now, but I can do this, which is going to tweak that. Okay, we're going to let that one finish, and then we'll tweak the template some more, and then see how many more we can produce. Okay, we're nearly at our policy change. Yeah, that's going to free up our civilian factories. God. The, what Part of the problem is we've been building so many um, military factories, and the factories to consumer goods is based on your total number of factories. So as you increase your count of military factories, more of your civilian factories have to go. Oh, the Balkan project, that finished, which just gave us a huge amount of political power sitting around. We're going to go, um, not total mobilization, because I don't want to lose the recruitable population, but we will go to war economy. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. We're going to start working on this. I'm going to take the uranium prospecting, because it will give us a huge boost to our nuclear research, which will then be cheap enough to be worth picking up and getting the research boost to everything else down the road. Whether or not we ever nuke anything, I don't know. Now I'm kind of interested in the idea, but we'll have to wait and see how that develops. Uh, cancel then, lease. That's going to have to be okay. Oh, decision. Yes, we can do the Robopidibides over here. Get some more resources. We've got this. I mean, part of me wondering, should we just unlock a couple of ship tax? I'm betting when we do the ship focus, we'll probably get a bunch of discounts to doing it. Although we're so far behind. And just probably work just on some destroyers for some convoy escorts. Not even necessarily the cruiser spotters. Just literally, we're going to have super... Like, the level 1 destroyer might be all we do as a token destroyer. A token escort just to scare off submarines from our convoys. I think is a decent idea. Okay, we've... Yeah, we've got both ciphers. That's good. Uh, fuel is being consumed currently just by doing our exercise. So that's still going to be a thing. I don't remember if we ever got around to building one of these synthetic factories. Um, let me go ahead and add one. Over here. I mean, I don't like that it's on the border with now what is Germany, but to a certain extent, like, if we lose, if we lose Sofia, we, we you know, we're, we're toast anyway. We still have the IMRO running. What do we have to do to get rid of that? Do we have another decision? Kicking around? Yeah. Why can't we run this one? Oh. Um. Oh shit. We have to be at peace. So we can't get rid of this. We've lost our time to get rid of that. That sucks. I might have been able to get rid of it sooner if I put divisions in the right places. The problem is, um, it started. We we started working on that so late as a result of um, not being able to increase our manpower. If it had let us even like scrap divisions, that would have been good. We could get the manpower, but it doesn't let us do that. Yeah, we're gonna add more to the German front here because that's probably the bigger threat. Uh, looks like we could actually take one off the Turkish front as well, because we got a little bit of doubling up, but I don't know. Maybe we'll leave it there. Okay. Done, done, done. We could get more mineral, mineral extraction. Um, we could just get, like... Let's get some fuel refining. Let's take that. Support equipment is still a shortage, although getting better. I wonder about just canceling the motorized line outright. Probably a good idea. There's our uranium processing. So we get 200% research boost for nuclear technology. Gain national spirit. The uranium mines, which give us even more nuclear research speed, nuclear production, nuclear reactor construction speed, um, and a decision. I don't know if I care so much about that. Um, yeah, military cooperation. Oh, maybe I haven't looked at them. Maybe they're super powerful and we should really consider it. I do like the re joint research effort as well. Um, the other thing to do is just pop one of these and get some dockyards. 
Add technology coastal defense ships. Wait, which one is coastal defense ships? Am I researching that? No, early destroyer. Uh, oh, there's no search on this one. What is coast... Hmm. Maybe I didn't need to do this at all. Let me pop a couple of these. Destroy set. Um... Okay, we've got, we've got at least one in every province here. I mean, because of the factions, they can, you know, basically come at us from any one of these sides. Honestly, pushing south early might be the highest value thing. Because then we only need to hold this, and then we've got basically a straight line over there. We might want to prioritize an aggressive move to the south as our very first action in the war. In fact... What I'm going to do is I'm going to sit green on go, because I do want them to go from day one. And, yeah, let me pop those. And move you here. And you need a location. And I'm going to pop you as well. And I'm going to put you on here, and hopefully you'll go to the right area. I might need to micro him to encourage him to go there. Yeah, because he's not actually... Ah, he's going to be in a hill. That's going to be okay. Let me shift-click these guys again, because a few new ones don't have full XP. Um, we all, As far as I know, we've only got the one more boost available, so I could keep researching this, but I might spread it around. We're in 41. Um, oh, yeah, we've got a research boost over here. 125 days for that, and then we'll get... A research upgrade going forward. I'm pretty pleased about this. Yeah, do the research or the uh, the exercise real quick. Fuel consumption will be out of fuel in over five years, but it might get worse as we go. Modify government. We've got more points. Um, I don't want to do conscription laws. We've got this. Uh, the focus there is okay. Air force, air safety is all we've got. Wow. Back from the Spanish Civil War. So presumably I would have had to do something. Send them to the Spanish Civil War and then come back to get that. Um, air accident chance decrease is actually fairly nice. You do lose a good number of planes to that, you know, as a, as a sort of attrition. So I'm not going to complain too much. How's our trade situation? Good. We've got tons of chromium we're not using, so hopefully we can get some trade deals exporting that that would be pretty helpful for us uh but our construction situation is a lot better now yeah a lot better cancel lend lease that's gonna have to be okay the one synthetic refinery i'm pleased with i think i might build a radar station they do build quickly you know what let's do this because if we get carpet bombed when the fighting starts it will be pretty terrible having the radar stations will make a tremendous difference to our ability to fight that off it's going to make a tremendous difference how is my air wing doing? Oh, good. They are fully trained, actually. You can stop that. I mean, um, can you do the shift-click thing over here? You can. So they're fully trained. They were still going, getting air experience, but I think it's probably okay to stop. Um, I don't need to run any missions at this time because there's no action over here. We're not doing any fighting locally. At some point, we will. Now, what we don't have is forts. Uh, I'm not going to do any more ship research here because I don't know what we're going to be getting for free Coastal defense ships. See, to me, that sounds like um, like the cruisers. I don't know. Um, we might want to get marines as an option. Actually, we're going to do one oil processing thing, because clearly we're going to want one of those factories. We might... I mean, we can do naval invasions without marines... But we might benefit from having one or two marine divisions to do some targeted strikes with reduced penalty. Which one is this? Uh, recruitment, independent state of Croatia. That actually sounds like a great idea because they are, you know, that might be something we use because they are part of the Axis block here. Which we are completely surrounded by the Axis. Okay, I was, I, this is not going to be a boring game when the war starts. It might be a short game when the war starts, but it won't be boring. None of these are mutually exclusive. Uh, maybe I'll wait on a little bit of that. Um, I don't need the rubber right now. I'll, I'll 
think an excavation is the best one. Because we are starting to accrue a fair number of resources and a fair number of modifiers there. So it might start to pay off. What we would really like is our own steel production. We can get tons of oil if we take a uh, Mudentenia. I, th I think I'm still happy with one artificial thing. Maybe I don't need to research the boost, though. Um, oh, right. Sorry. that was a, There was a pop-up for the tech. What did it actually give us? It didn't just... No. I'm confused. Okay, we have no dockyards. Um, we're going to get a dockyard. If nothing else, I do need to make a few more convoys. And then, yeah, we'll get the convoy um, escorts going. It wasn't one of these. I don't like how low our stability is. Um, the second national catastrophe, we were going to get rid of it if we had gone bury the grudges of the past. I think some of these are going to tweak it, though. Lower stability, which is poor. Government reforms, recruitable, consumer, some factories, factory output, which is all beautiful. Get the next tier anti tank. Italy declares war on France. So the Allies are now at war with the Danish Union. That that actually sounds pretty poor to me, because um, that's gonna be that's gonna probably mean the end of France, which means that Germany is gonna have a lot more potential. We've got naval invasions coming in. Uh, yeah, Normandy is is happening now. The British are taking a crack at France. So, because Fran France is a bunch of troops they're having to fight over here, now they're having to worry about this, and then they've got the naval invasion. They're just going to collapse in seconds, probably when Paris falls. Shame to be them. We've got more capitulations going on in the west over here, or the east over here. Russia's losing a little bit of land. I mean, I can't send troops over there, right? No, that would be stupid. That would be insane. Hmm. Do we want to start the war? No. I think we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to pull troops away from the Soviets. They're going to have a hard enough time fighting over here. Especially, I don't think the AI really does as much infrastructure development and things. Speaking of, we could develop our own infrastructure a little bit more. Um. Hmm. Operative can be recruited. I might do some more blueprinty things. Oh, is everyone just sitting at home? We should steal more blueprints. Let's go spy in Germany. Yes, I like that idea. What we'll do... Um, I know we'll get diminishing returns, but I'm going to send two to Berlin here to try to build that as quickly as possible. And... Let's send two to Italy as well. Build up the one as quickly as possible, and we're going to go on some blueprint stealing sprees. All processing is done. I'm not sure that that was worth researching, but it's done now, so that's going to have to be okay. Uh, I don't really care about more radar stuff. Um, hmm. We'll probably grab some of this at some point. We don't really need the better hulls. That's the thing. We don't really need any of that. Uh, if we do want to do submarine stuff later, we will need that. But Oh, transports. That's what we need. We need to have the option of a naval invasion, marines or not. We'll probably go and max that out as much as possible. Um, military high command. We don't have a lot of good ones. I think some of them got locked out, unfortunately. Oh, no. We do have the infantry expert. That's huge. He's massive. That's going to make a big difference for whatever comes next. And at some point, something will happen. Oh, big peace conference. Oh, that was France capitulating. Okay. 
Treat of could play. Okay, we've got our atomic research. France has capitulated. Free France. They are part of the Axis. It's interesting because France could have really held against the Axis. But the Allies coming in changed everything. And it's funny, the Allies didn't get anything out of it. The Allies basically just gifted France to the Axis. So the Axis are definitely going to be a power. Holy crap, they're definitely going to be a power. We're still hoping if the Allies can get in against the Axis, that'll be interesting. I mean, we'll still have the Britain-German dynamic without the USA the same way. Um, without Canada either, until the common term jumps in. The big question mark will be Italy, and can it hold up against Germany? The the hills there, the mountains here, the Alps might be a big deal. Um, yeah, that's ahead of time, and we don't actually care to build a nuclear reactor right now, but we've got the speed boost, which is okay. We might do nuclear reactor stuff later on. I mean, we don't really need mechanized... I mean, at some point we might want MPs, and I could consider grabbing it. We're actually pretty close to 1942 here. Oh, radio companies or signal companies are pretty handy. Let's consider, we're at least going to work on unlocking it. We're still, you know, a little bit stressed about how we're going to implement some of these. And okay, naval base is a go. That's giving us some dockyards. We got a design company as well. Um, I want to, oh God, I do want to go here because there's some potent stuff. Okay, I'm going to check this. We're going to see what we can, what kind of deals we can arrange. Dockyard is available. So first thing is, um, there's the coastal defense ship. We don't even have all the modules for it. I think it is a light cruiser. Um, but yeah, so, uh, sorry, we're going to put in one convoy line. And I'm not going to put in anything else right now. I mean, we don't have the material for it anyway. One convoy line just running for the, the entirety of the game is usually what I want. Uh, we'll probably start to slowly de um, develop some destroyers as well. But we will need, um, I guess, yeah, we need some base tech. We may want to just finish those then. Um, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, that'll at least give me something to maybe focus a little bit of research on while we're waiting for 1942 to come around. Okay, we've got nothing in training because we don't have much in the way of equipment. What I'd like to do is see if I were to add... We do have motorized, so we'll do this. Light tank might be nice, but we can go ahead and do this, and that should be okay. Yep, we've got enough of everything. Um, we don't actually have anti-tank, so adding that in wouldn't make any sense. How are we on artillery? Uh, no. Okay, let me save this change anyway. We have a fair amount. We could... I think we are going to work our way up to, like, a 40 combat width of infantry. Oh, that's it for my points. Alright, well, we'll do this for now. Let's, I'm, I'm okay with this. Our fuel is... Oh, right, because we did just add a bunch of motorized to these guys, so that all of a sudden they have to reload the fuel. So these guys are going to consume fuel when they move around. Oh, a bunch of the peace deal went that way, but yeah, that hasn't really changed our situation. Improved anti-tank is done. Yeah, let's go back over to naval. Um, I don't... And death charge, is that what we need? A few of these. Well, we've got a boost. Let's get... Um, Let's get some pot passive sonar. And we're going to change the anti-tank, which we are starting to get some, actually. I didn't realize we had so many there. I think we will go... Uh, we're going to have to wait for some XP. Um, but we will go probably and add in the anti-tank over there. Do I just want to train some more? Mm, I don't know. We need the XP, but... And here's the thing. We don't have the passive XP gain over here. We might be able to get a few more from some decisions. Uh, fuel the refining is in place. You know what? Let's get a bunch of these, the level one naval techs. But yeah, if we can just steal some things as well, that would be nice. We'll see what we can do. Um, do I want to get anything more over here? Italy declares war in Greece. Okie dokie. That's going to shake things up a whole bunch. A whole bunch. Let's start getting some of these departments. Now, Greece 
is part of the Axis. So the Allies and the Axis are going to be at war with each other. That's great news, I think. Assuming Italy can hold off for a little while, and nothing weird happens with Great Britain collapsing, because that would be pretty bad. That's actually sounding pretty decent to me. Oh, do we have another research? No, no, just hadn't updated yet. Okay. India's capitulated. Okay. Oh, I think that's just Civil War stuff. I think it's India v. India. Uh, Brittany axis over here. Yeah, so it's still all axis. Just a different axis. We're still not in the war. The fighting over here. So what we're hoping is that Italy doesn't fall. We want to make the Axis spend as many resources as possible. After we steal a little bit of tech over here, I might just send everyone over and see if we can just spam um, uh, the United States with communist support. I think I hesitated, at, uh, I had the idea earlier, and I hesitated because like, oh, they won't join my faction, they'll join the common term, but now we really do want them to just join the common term. So, that wouldn't be so tragic. Djibouti has capitulated. Alright, so yeah, I, I forgot it's going to go mostly allies, I mean, whether or not these guys jump into something at some point, but probably there'll be some low country shenaniganry. Danzig are war, so that will take out Poland, but they're in their own factions, so that's not really going to develop anything else. Yeah, let's uh, let's increase our intelligence levels throughout. That is going to be pretty useful, and I think worth spending some factories on. Speaking of factories, we are currently finishing the radars over here. Um, I think I will actually go and add some more civilian factories because we're still being hammered fairly hard on that, and it's going to slow down the rest of our development. I think I'm happy that we did get, you know, our military factories going so that we're starting to develop this, and we will go to military factory probably exclusively after this. We'll just queue a bunch up. But yeah, a few more civilian factories I think are well worth it. As our resources, we could do with a little bit more steel from someone if we could do it. Um, I guess we'll take, in, we'll take one in from Turkey. Although I thought we'd already ordered some from them before, and maybe it wasn't coming through. Paps of Sonar is done. Um, I don't think we need these. The mining could be really interesting as well. Because, yeah, I think it might just be the naval gunnery that we needed to unlock to be able to develop the ships. Still, let's, um, let's get the firefighting drills. Bam, 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 bam. All right, contract... Ferengi companies. So we can... Military cooperation with various people. We'll talk to the Soviet Union first, and we'll see. Um, I still want this. Oh, it does give us stability as well. You know what? Let's grab that. It's, it's high time that we went ahead and did this. There's our military cooperation agreement with... Uh, oh, we need the uranium ones. Oh, they need atomic research first. Interesting. So foreign arrangements. We must focus on establishing beneficial agreements with leading foreign companies willing to establish a city in Bulgaria and invest in development in domestic territory. So it costs us 50, and it'll cost us an extra 15. So it's costing us 65, and increase in consumer goods factories. But when it's removed, we get a new design company for motorization research speed. Okay. And armor. Well, you know, I'm going to do it. It might lead to other things. It's worth checking out. We don't really need the political power right now. We've done a lot of the things that we were desperately interested in. We've got our ciphers. Could... We, we could and probably should actually work on a cipher with uh, Germany. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, and we've got some operations starting to maybe be available. Now, for stealing tech, I think we have to infiltrate the civilian stuff, don't we? I think that might be true. I'm going to prepare this. Uh, infiltration. Infiltration. And go. We could capture the Cypher to accelerate it, but I think we're going to want more infiltrations. These are all going to go fairly well. It's good, not excellent. I think we're going to do it anyway. Cut. Okay. 
dun, 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 dun. Shipyard waiting. There's some warfare going. Uh, we do have some friendly troops moving into our territory, finally. Lovely. Oh, here we go. Spain is justifying it. Wait, what? They want to leave the common term for a Spanish War of Independence. They want to... They're flipping back democratic. Subvert Soviet control. The thing is, they went through all the... What? Okay. The thing is, there's actually Soviet troops in your territory. What's that going to happen when you declare war? I was not expecting this. I don't think we're going to do anything about it. What could we do? I could preemptively move a bunch of troops over here. But that would leave our borders very vulnerable. I don't think we can afford to do this. Don't think we can afford to move some of our troops out. Transport ship tech is done. Um, the next one is... Oh, it's actually not ahead of time. Really? Oh, yeah, 1940. Um, yes. Okay. I mean, could I pull a few troops out for naval invasion? I don't have the, the sea knowledge, although it might be able to share it with the Soviets. Yeah, they're moving a lot of troops over there. No, I'm going to keep my, my guys over here. If we do break out against the Axis, again, our idea is to hopefully push south, although they've got plenty of troops that they are moving in here now, or at least moving across. Naval gunnery is done. Uh, we're on the cusp of 42. Let's go ahead and start this. Decision available is... Oh, some recruiting. Um, I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. Infiltrate, infiltrate. And Germany's bound to have a bunch of tech we don't have. Poland refused a German ultimatum. Declare war on Poland. Which is going to be probably pretty short. It is pretty, like, late war. Poland's had a lot more chance to build up. And Germany is busy. But Poland has no allies, no friends in this. Other than other people who happen to instantly be fighting Germany. Okay, no, they did get the rest of the Baltics over here. Well, the Baltics excluding Scandinavia. Yeah, we need to finish those. Greece has capitulated. Took a while. Poland's holding. Spain is doing weird shenanigans. Unless, like, it's possible that um, the Soviets... I don't know, did they get a, an ultimatum? Oh, I gotta actually highlight. Removes... Pu Wait, they're puppeted? They're puppeted? Oh, I missed that. Oh! Not just leave the common term, it's remove that. Well, I can't blame them for wanting it then. Okay. Fair enough. Signal company go. Uh, it is 42 now. Let's work on these. I don't like how many troops they've got here around Magno, so they're going to be going through there, although it doesn't matter. Okay, so they'll, they'll eat the low countries, and that'll be the end of that. Netherlands joins the ally. Remember, those are fascist allies. Um, so they're already in a war, so it doesn't really change that. Belgium over here. It changes the front a little bit. But yeah, they're just going to get destroyed because France is attacking them as well, because France is part of the Axis, so that's going to be a minuscule war. Uh, Poland's actually doing a pretty good job so far, which is nice to see. We're going to get the next government cipher school as well. This is consuming some of our civilian factories, but they are going to give us some fairly nice benefits. These are ticking along as well. And planning those operations did additionally eat some of our resources. Italy is... Why is this colored this way? Oh, because of the map mode I'm in. There we go. Full voting rights for women. Nice. We did a good... Going down here, pressure the Balkans, I mean. I 
we get some forts? Yeah, okay. That's my next priority, is getting some forts before... Uh, hopefully before this war goes. That's going to make a huge difference. Not at least having to defend... Yeah, but of course they have to defend on both fronts over here, and, if, and naval invasions might also be a possibility. Germany having this presence over here. This is bad news for Italy. It's also bad news for us. I know it's like for so long. It's 42. We haven't gone fight yet. But holy crap, is this ra ramping up to insanity. Holy crap. Okay, let's get these. Um, oh, there was something I was just about to check, and I don't remember what it is. It was like, oh, I have to do foo, and I don't remember. Huh. Yeah, I'll just do it. Who cares? I'm not convinced that that's, um, that's, that's super helpful, but you know what? It's part of our story. The production is going to be handy, because that is an area... Oh, that's right. I was going to check um, our ships over here, not you, but the destroyer hulls. Yeah, there we go. I think I, I, I the components are just missing, but I don't think they'd all been unlocked. Um, so for a basic destroyer, like for convoy escorts, you really don't need any... I don't even think you need hydrophones, although, like thematically it would make sense i don't think you need anything you're required to have the basic battery you're required to have an engine this is the lowest level hull this is simply our destroy escorts that's it we've used this design before it's cheap as hell and the idea is to simply do as much escorting as possible uh, we've got nothing fancy going on there we'll let it start and then we'll deploy some fleets at some point so our convoy account is starting to go up so that's something how's the trade situation we could still use some of this um they deliver to zero yeah hold on zero we're getting eight of eight over there which is something um oh we can get fr from france again now which is good let's go and not no not the there's the the click box on these little arrows is really wacky there you go so that should work. I mean, we're still trading with, effectively, our future enemies, but what you gonna do? Um, over here, British Malaya. We're gonna cancel you, and I guess we'll bring it in from Portugal instead. Okay. So yeah, I think we were using some factories and not getting anything out of it. I gotta keep babysitting this and make sure it's okay. Cypher School is done. Um, we can get more decryption power. Let's let's hold off. We've, we, I, there was some due diligence there to get some basics in place, which is good. But I do kind of need the construction to happen. So let's do that. Thank you kindly. Spy operations are spy operationing. This hasn't broken out yet. Although, oh, did they get kicked out? Oh, no, you finished. The war didn't go. Oh, if they do not accept the demands of lead to war. There we go. So, yeah, they get the event. So, and um, the Soviets were like, okay, fine, we'll get out of it. Um, the thing, they are fully democratic. No faction. Maybe we flip them back to communists. I don't know if they've got, if this is giving them, like, passive daily democratic support. I don't know. But I think Project Communist USA is probably a stronger pick for us. Right now, we're just hunkering down. And waiting for stuff. But I'm, I'm starting to definitely feel closer to being ready to pull a little bit of a trigger here. Um, oh, yeah. We don't have any of this. Should we just train one of these? I guess we're not. There's no one planning. It doesn't mean that a war couldn't start instantly. And I don't like the idea of not having this. No, no, I can't exercise. Damn it. I really can't. We can probably train a few more things or just do some... Well, we don't have the things. We can train. We can't edit. I guess we will go ahead and do some training. Let's, uh... Give me, um... Give me something like this. We'll get a few more divisions in here. With our awkward combat width. But that's gonna be fine. Any promotions we want to hit buttons for? There's the one guy with the cavalry stuff. Actually, no one's actually saying that they've got a promotion available. Um, at some point, we will get... I think it's when we get the Prussia of the Balkans. We can train new officers cheaper and they come in higher level. 
and that'll be pretty nice because we can just whack the button a few times and get some higher quality generals, maybe with a bit more variety. Um, you know what I think we might need? Because I'm worried about the Soviets not having enough supply. Well, we've got a big Q. Agent killed. Damn. We'll bring this down. We're going to consider building up this naval base and adding infrastructure. Infiltrate army finished. Ah. Okay. So you're just chilling. You're defensive right now, but no. We're going to send you to Washington. And you're going to start building up a spy network over here. Let's see what we can do. There's not a lot of troops here. Like, if we started the war with these guys now, it wouldn't be bad. Do I just want to, like, fabricate a war goal? Do I want to start this? The thing is... That's not much of a state. So what we actually want is, like... All of this. We want to have a claim on this because we want this oil. We don't want it to go to someone else in the peace deal. I think we're starting to feel ourselves a little bit. Maybe we'll feel ourselves more when this comes in. Landing crafts are a go. Uh, it's 42. We can get the next level of infantry started. Infantry equipment. So, I mean, they're going to respond to the fact that claims are being justified. Okay, there's a lot of Soviet troops in the north. I'm wondering if I can devote a, a, a deflect more Let's troops battle. to this southern plan. Hang on. Turkey. Oh, because the front there. Yeah, um... Which is kind of annoying. What I'm going to do is delete this because what I want to do is have a separate army um, without the mountaineers, actually. Let me grab you guys, make you into a new army, put you here, and get ready to push that way. And then um, green, your battle plan is going to be more focused like that. Maybe something like this. Uh, I'll assign you someone for now. National Military Academy. Right. Uh, which gave us more experience, which is nice and going to be useful. We're going to go War Logistics, and then we want Defensive Lines. Yeah, actually, that'll be when it starts. Spain wants a non-aggression path. I'm going to decline. Because I don't know how things are going to shake out. Field Hospitals. Did we ever add the Field Hospitals to these guys? Yes, we did. Okay, good. So yeah, we're going to try to get um, all of our actual support companies that we're actually using in place. We have infiltrated the civilian administration over here, which is great. Yeah, let's send more people over here. Um, I'm going to split, spread you out, but I'm going to put you in the same place over here, and we're going to see what kind of shenanigans we can start doing. Okay. Firefighting drills for our ships, that's good. We can take this. We'll need the anti-tank infantry equipment as well. We need all that jazz. And yeah, if the Soviets can join in on the move over here, that'll be really nice. Because if we can get all of this, we dramatically thin out our front line. Especially if we can take Istanbul, because grab holding the strait here is going to be very powerful. Oh, we can recruit... All right, let's grab you. And yeah, there we go. And you can do defensive spying for us. For now, that's going to be A-OK. -okay. What I might want to do is create the North American section here. Yeah, I don't really need the political power the same way. We're going to run that. And then we can recruit maybe some American spies. Why am I bringing revolution to the Kingdom of Romania?
While we have consolidated the Socialist Society and the Socialist Republic of Bulgaria, many nations still suffer under the despots of old. Oh my god, this video has gone long. The workers of the Kingdom of Romania have no voice, no means to organize, and any attempts to institute socialism will be crushed savagely by Carol II's regime. We cannot wait for the gears of international revolution to turn for the Romanian people. Oh, it, is this because of the I'm um, justifying a war? Maybe it's because I'm justifying a war. Uh, with the revolution, we have proven that we could crush the capital oppressors here. We'll crush the oppressors in Mutenia as well. Uh, King Owen, this is me, has abandoned all attempts at diplomatic rhetoric uh, towards Romania. The quest to eradicate all borders now strictly focused on eradicating their borders. Huh, that's an interesting flavor to that. Maybe we could have still flipped them. Civil, get a civil war to trigger in Romania. I mean, they have some communist support. But at this point, an uncivil war is going to be the fastest route, so that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, theoretically, we still have those ciphers. We'll double check on that, make sure they're intact. Signal company tech is going to keep going. Yep, no, we're still ready to go. Actually, you know what? Let's find out what's going on in Germany. That would be helpful. So Poland's still holding. Italy's pushing the Free France. This is actually great. Italy's holding the Alps and then pushing into Free France, which is now capitulated and is being held by the British Empire. Okay, so the Allies are actually taking a big beat. I'm really happy about our um, war justification now because the Axis are actually in dire straits. This is going to be wonderfully good timing for us. So I'm not gonna, well, actually there's no one really in the front. We can, currently we can consider pushing the red line. Advancing computing machines, okay. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna worry about this. Uh, we're not in 43. We're not in 44, although we could do some air doctrine things. Oh yeah, I put this on a hold here. Hang on, we gotta go back to our doctrines, and actually we can keep, we can power through our land doctrine at this point. I'm okay that we uh, we did point and put our research somewhere else. That was actually pretty neat and useful, but we can put a pause on that for now. Um, for Murica, we are going to attempt to infiltrate over here, which is the hats, right, for infiltration. Excellent, good. We're gonna get ourselves an infiltration token in the US. Decision available. War propaganda against the British. No thank you. All right. How long do we got? August. Okay, so we still have a couple months, which I think is okay for us. Oh, unfulfilled. We're not getting... Oh, yeah. Free France doesn't really exist anymore, so let's set you to zero. Um. Oh, Soviet Union. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, cancel you, and yeah, three factories to the Soviets. Lovely. Okay. We do have some planes and reserves. We've got quite a few fighters. Okay, well, what I might do here is I'm going to increase this wing size to 100 fighters. It's going to be good. They still don't have a mission going. That's fine. Oh shit, we're out of manpower. I don't know what the manpower situation is. Well. In fact, don't even don't even train this one. Um, yeah, keep that manpower pool available. Uh, there are a few more national decisions we can take to give us some manpower. But yeah, we're really not going to have a lot to spare for this war. Uh, we do have a little bit of experience over here. What I'm going to do is use it to add artillery lines. Okay, we'll be slightly short, but that's going to be okay. Um, we, oh, and then we don't have enough for this if I do it that way. Let me pull back a little on that. I'm going to add a line anti-tank because we should have, we don't have quite enough. We're going to do that. We do have some production for it. What I might do is plan on adding a second one over there. Support equipment, we now have an excess, but that's fine. There's something else I want to cancel. Maybe I'll, I will just cancel the motorized for now. Um... We'll do that. It's going to move it there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-add motorized, like, down at the bottom here. Like, yeah. 
down, down, down. Actually, convoy is probably last. Eh, maybe the ship's even laster. That's going to be okay. They'll get the last crack at the material, and that's going to be fine. Okay. Um, yes, ciphers are ready to go. And that's the thing. If I'm pushing north and south, we can we can pop the Turkish and Romanian um, ciphers instantly. Drop a couple more people into this war plan. And we can push like mad. What is this decision? Um, we're gonna... Mm, I would like more stability, actually. Gonna eat some factories. No, I think we've got to do this. Our, our stability is so low because we never got rid of the, uh, the Imro. Uh, did I do the thing where I can work there? No. Okay. Um, let's get some more German agents, I guess. So, August is go time. Oh, yeah. I just said, oh, what, this is a really long video. Now, this video is twice as long as what I normally target for. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Uh, and assuming we keep slaying on speed 5, we should hit August next video, and we will declare war on the Kingdom of Romania and bring in all of our, all of our buddies. I'm sure that'll be fine. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.